Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and this is Pastor to Pastor. We've been talking and giving advice to young pastors. And here is your advice for today. Don't get sucked into buildings or programs that the church does not need. Rather than building that fancy new building complete with gymnasium, think about maximizing what you have so the money can be given to the poor. You see, Often what happens is you get involved in, uh, let's say your church is growing and God is doing some wonderful things and all of a sudden you find yourself uh, full. And then all of a sudden the first thing people say, we need a brand new building. But you know brand new buildings cost a lot of money. Minimum. One and a half to two million dollars. Now that's a lot of money. Now maybe there is someone in your congregation who is willing to give that kind of money. But then there's that whole building program. One of the things that you can do is have one or even two more services. Think about that. Think about how that you can how you can wisely use your money. You see, so often what happens to us is our ego is strict is stroked when uh, great things are happening and people say, "Pastor, you are the man of faith and power in this great hour," and we begin to actually believe our own press. My exhortation to you is have a modest estimation of your own self-worth. When someone comes to you and says, Pastor, we need to have a brand new building, think about the cost. You know, the Bible says there was a wise king who thought about a war that he was going to go into. He looked at the resources. He looked at the uh, um, how many men he had and how many men his, his enemy had. And then when he realized he couldn't overcome it, he sued for peace and says, what can we do to have peace? Well, what you need to do is walk with wisdom. You know, through this whole series, I've been talking about James 1.5. If we lack wisdom, ask of God. You see, so often what happens is what we really think we need, we may not necessarily need. You need to pray about every situation. One of my exhortations near the end of this series is being a man of prayer. So what you need to ask yourself is, how can I maximize what I have right now? How can I use the resources that I have right now wisely? And how can I resist the temptation of uh, getting involved in something that maybe I shouldn't be involved in? Now, if the Lord leads you to go into a building program, pursue it. But think it through before you even start. Have a long conversation with your leadership team and count the cost. And if you feel that God wants you to do it, then proceed. But understand there's going to be many pitfalls, many uh, traps, many things that you're going to, many frustrations that will come with it. But because you've committed yourself to it and because you know what God wants you to do it, you're going to be able to do it. And he will give you the wisdom, the resources, and the people to accomplish the task. But if you are able to maximize what you have, then you should do that. Use your money wisely as a church. And also use your time wisely. Because what can happen is pastors can get all caught up in the building program and neglect the ministry itself. My name is Robert Dean Steele. This is Pastor to Pastor. You have yourself a godly day.